Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to clean up old backups in SQL Server. Let's say that you have a backup scheduled in SQL Server 2008 to 2012 or 2014, and uh, you have retention period for those backups because you don't want to keep piling up your backups and take the space in any drive that you're saving your backups on, and you would like to auto clean up the backup files. Let's say that um, you wanted to delete the backups older than one week because uh, maybe those backups have already been placed in somewhere where uh, retention period is much more than one week because locally sometimes it's not a good idea to keep the backups more than a week or two weeks um, but uh, it depends on your uh, organization retention policy if the retention policy says that you need to keep local backups two weeks you can keep the local backups two weeks and you can delete the backups older than two weeks and um, if your retention is six months then uh, I would recommend that you move your backups from local drive to a backup uh, shared drive and keep those in um, six months and you can also configure in SQL Server that wherever your backups are that you would like to clean up uh, older than whatever your retention period is so in this video you're going to learn that so we're gonna go ahead and this is my SQL server right here and this is my management studio now keep in mind that I already scheduled backup right here I have created a backup maintenance plan right here and if you look at jobs this is the job backup all databases this is the job and um, I have uh, created this that go ahead and take a full backup of the databases all the databases at night 11 p.m. so let's say that uh, I wanted to keep six weeks or one week worth backup so after that I'm going to delete the backup so we have two options basically to do that one that we go ahead and edit the maintenance plan and we will uh, use the cleanup task to go ahead and delete the older backups and other we have a SQL agent job and we create a script and put a step in SQL agent up here step add a step that will clean up our backup but uh, we're going to take an easy route and it's this facility is available in SQL server so why not taking advantage of that we're gonna go ahead and cancel this and I'm going to go ahead and open up my maintenance plan my maintenance plan is to take all the backups once a night and I do not have any detention period to clean up so in order to do the cleanup we go back to our toolbox and up here you have um, a task called maintenance cleanup uh, this is specific to basically the extension of the file that uh, you wanted to clean up and uh, we do have a, a full backup the backup extension is BAK in SQL Server so we're gonna go ahead and use this particular tool uh, a task and bring it in the area right here as you can see right here uh, it's a red box that means that it hasn't been configured yet once we'll configure it this red box will go away so what we want is that first take the backup once our backup is successful then go ahead and run our maintenance cleanup task keep in mind that if your backup fails you do want to make sure that it doesn't run the cleanup task because uh, six days backup needs to be there so it's again up to your organization policy retention policy whatever your policy is we can compensate using this video so I'm going to go ahead and um, move this up here that mm, this is the president so backup database task completed once that's completed successfully we're going to run the maintenance cleanup task now <clears throat> next target is to configure maintenance cleanup task so we're gonna go ahead and double click on maintenance cleanup task all right up here a few options delete files of the following type backup files when we say backup files it mostly means that dot BAK all the backup files if if this maintenance plan is taken all the database backups and putting in storage all you need to do is specify the um, 
uh, location and it'll go in that location and delete the backup files based on your retention and we'll get to the retention in a second so the second option up here is maintenance text reports um, we do get the text report if if you configure your maintenance plan that uh, all the log every time the database happen all the log should be there let's say that there is a problem in taking the backups you would like to know and if the text report is uh, um, created you might like to send it to your DBA team so that they can review and go through that uh, uh, error that has encountered during the backup and go ahead and uh, uh, resolve that error so that's for that you don't want your maintenance plan text reports staying there and getting bigger and bigger and taking all that space you have an option right here to maintain uh, to delete that particular text file and uh, do that so we're gonna go ahead and click on uh, backup files up here is a file delete specific files if you wanted to just uh, um, this is not a good option to use because this is basically if you do that this is uh, specifying just one file unless you have another uh, a batch file that will run through that but this is going to be just a static file you don't want to really use that this might be a one time that let's say that you have uh, already one month database and you wanted to clean up the database uh, backup then you can go ahead and run those files and go through all that but I would use the search folder and delete files based on extension this is the most recommended way and I would recommend that too mostly the extension for uh, BAK is full backup or differential backup so we're gonna go ahead and uh, give the folder path right here sequencer whatever the folder path for your uh, uh, database backup is you need to give that so that it would know and right here is my folder path let me hide this real quick I'm gonna go ahead auto hide this so that we will have an option sorry about the resolution so all right uh, right here I'm gonna go ahead and click OK so it's gonna go in that particular folder right here in backup folder that I have defined and in it's going to file a uh, find file extension BAK and now um, when you create a database backup uh, through maintenance plan you have an option to create subfolders for each database you do want to include the first level subfolder if you wanted to do that so that means the master and then it'll go into the uh, particular um, uh, master folder and go first the folder backup folder and then it'll go to let's say that this is the master database so it's, it's gonna go in the master and find the BAK extension file so right here is your retention delete files based on the age of the file as task runtime as you can see delete files older than four weeks right here this retention period is one month that means four four week let's say that we wanted to keep it one week so we're gonna go ahead and say one week so we're gonna go ahead and click OK as you can see as soon as we clicked OK it went right here the, the X red X that we saw um, it went um, it went away so we're gonna we're done basically uh, do, doing the maintenance cleanup we're gonna go ahead and save our maintenance plan all right let's take a look on the jobs what it did to the job this is the job advanced right here so you can take a look on the jobs as well so I'm gonna go ahead and look at the maintenance plan one more time so this is the backup that's going to backup database tag that's going to create uh, the backup of all your databases after this is successful it's going to run the maintenance task 
and we'll get into if this database task completely fails then what happens to this maintenance plan right now if you double click on this little green arrow you will see that constraint is the value of the constraint is success it's going to only go to this maintenance cleanup task if it is this task is successful if this task is not successful then what we're going to do um, and we'll put it in a separate demo but uh, in this video I just wanted to show you that you can go ahead and configure the maintenance cleanup task that way you don't have to manually go in the folder and clean up your older backups